Alright, and welcome back to Oddworld Apes Exodus, ladies and gentlemen. In the last part, after exploring a little bit of Necrom Forest, it, we have now discovered what we must do to obtain a possible cure to help our buddies from from uh, Soulstorm Brew. Um, basically, um, we have to uh, help the three weirdos uh, rescue these uh, trapped spirits from paranoid slags, and only then... Will we be able to hopefully get the cure to save our buddies? Oh, is that all? I thought for sure we just we just have to pump their stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> if only, if only. Now here's a new creature in the Onward universe. These are fleeches. Oh, they even give you the pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, fleecha. Fle <laughs> exactly. Now, yeah. Now, at first, they may look like you know they're like you know caterpillars or something like that but don't let their appearance fool you these guys are a lot fucking deadlier than they look they're mostly because of their tongues hence why they, their tongues are not strong enough to hang on on the freaking ceiling but it's not just that their tongues are that powerful that if they are able to pretty much uh quote unquote tenderize larger prey enough they are it, it, they're, 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 their tongues are basically kind of like knives in a way. They they are that fucking sharp and they are that fucking strong. But basically, if they hit Abe enough times, they can uh, basically devour him whole. Also, because they can somehow expand their bodies big enough, or not so much their not so much their bodies, expand their mouths big enough to devour larger prey in one gulp. So they're like it's, uh, half leech, half snake. Something like that. Oh, and uh, what we just witnessed there, that was a, uh, that, if you got, from, if you guys uh, couldn't tell, that was, um, that was uh, a lock that contained a, a trapped spirit. One slap is all it takes to release said spirit. And, um, in most cases, if you are able to, uh, um, if you slap a spirit lock, the spirit will be able to unlock, uh, certain doors. Well, not certain doors, all doors, really. So what are those little fuckers on the ground? Oh, good. Oh, good question. I was just about to get to that. Um, they don't really explain it. Uh, actually, they briefly explained it uh, when we looked at the touchstone of fleeches. But um, if I'm pronouncing the names right, I believe they're known as uh, slurgs. Think of them as like uh, slugs. The only difference is they move slight. They move a bit faster compared to regular slugs. I, I notice you. I notice you hold still whenever when, whenever one passes you. So, oh yeah, that that's another big thing I was gonna bring up. Um, if you uh step, if you walk on slurgs, they let out a loud screech that will wake up any sleeping predator on the screen. Oh, so, in this case, so if you, step, if you step on one, they scream. Huh? I wonder why they would do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ow! Yup, see. Like, <laughs> oh. Oh god! Ow. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were nibbling on your giblets. Yeah. Oh, actually. Rude. Um. I okay. Um. Spoiler alert. Um. I die in this one run of this particular like uh uh love part of the level or whatnot. But I, just for the hell of it, this is what happens when a fleech eats a budokin. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Yeah. Oh my it's, uh, god! My god! It it's is. like they don't even chew their food. No, I, like their, I said, their digestive, they literally... si their digestive system is amazing. Like, 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 like for a sp only for like a split second was their body big enough to hold a, but then it shrunk down in an instant. I mean, that's like yeah. Well, I mean, that's like have you ever seen like uh, snakes where they eat like uh, when they eat mice and everything? I mean, that's like they don't even eat mice that goddamn quick. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so hence why, yeah, PJ, you weren't exactly off base when you think of them as kind of like snakes. But, yeah, these fuckers, like I said, a lot deadlier than they look, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> if Metapod, oh, if Metapod was badass. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oh man, I miss Metapod all of a sudden. Oh my god. Him and his pixely eyes. Damn it. <laughs> okay. 
Alright, I bl if, if memory serves, this will be uh, the last part of Necrom Forest that we have to go through in order to get to the Mudanji and Mudobo Vaults, the two places where we have to uh, save uh, Mudokin spirits. Also, another thing with the uh, spirit locks, um, if um, certain spirit locks uh, radiate a, a little green uh, ring, that's a sign that if you slap them, you get invisibility powers. Something new in the Oddworld universe. And I, and I take it you can use that to get uh, uh, past the fleeches. Uh, yes, yes. Get, you can pretty much get past any particular enemy. But, uh, but of course, much like a lot of other invisibility powers in like any other video game, it doesn't last for too long. So once you turn invisible, you gotta be quick. Scrub. That's that's why you, that, that that's why when you beat Metal Gear Solid, you have you, you have to let Meryl die. What? Then Otakon will will, 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 will will ride off into the sunset with you, and he'll give you the invisibility thing. Wow. <laughs> oh God damn it. <laughs> well, fortunately, in the, this in this the first case when they uh, let you uh, try to use invisibility for the first time, I think they give you like more than enough time to get through uh, this uh, this one area. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Oh, yep, that's it. All right. Well, that's well, that's uh, all the little uh, those are the little uh, challenges we had to go through with the fleeches in the Necro Forest. Uh, don't worry though. They, uh, obviously, this will not be the first time that we have to deal with fleeches. So, the, so, so how long does the invisibility typically last? It honestly, it it's completely random. <laughs> honestly, it could last for like. Oh man, I would say uh, like maybe 15 seconds at the shortest. Other times it's longer. It, it's completely random. That sounds like your typical uh, time frame for power ups and stuff in certain games. Yeah. Now this touchstone, the, the last touchstone we have to worry about, which talks about the Budanchi, the Budanchi vaults. More so talking about the Budanchi tribe and the Budomo tribes, but more more so. Uh, the relationship that the Budokan tribe and the, I mean uh, not the tribe the Budokan race and the Glucken race had like thousands of years ago is it, yeah of course yeah of course this is where it gets to more of the lore like how it was like way before uh, the Gluckens enslaved the Budokan race and all of that stuff Honestly enough, um, actually, um, I believe that the guys who do like those uh, video game lore videos, they actually did a video on Oddworld. Basically, how it how it goes down is, um, uh, as I said before, the Budokan race and the Gluckin race, they were friends. But at one point, that uh, that moon in the first game, they thought the Budokan race, they thought the Budokans were okay. What? Okay, hold on, real talk. Are you serious? You did not see- you didn't see that! See what? <laughs> I'm confused. No, Russell- the, I'm so happy right now! This is the second time this has happened where Ryan clearly <laughs> did something in the game that was apparently so fucking funny, but both- all of us have missed it. <laughs> like- No! Okay, alright, you know what, okay, while this little secret- while this little secret area goes down- Ow. Okay. <laughs> alright, okay, you know what? Here's how it's gonna go down. Alright? Alright, you guys... Alright, here's the thing. Here's what I want you guys to do. When this part is done, and I do the sign-off, keep recording. Okay? I will edit the all extra stuff out, but... I gotta show you this. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say I hit a... For shits and giggles, I hit a uh, little... Or... I hit some Easter eggs, as it were. <laughs> Okay. But, <laughs> in which case, okay, going back to the game itself, um, alright, so this thing, oh, fuck. Uh, well. Alright. <laughs> alright, all right, let me explain. Okay, first of all, that, that little, that robot we see at the bottom, those are greeters. We don't... We're not supposed to run into these guys until the beginning of disc two. Basically, greeters were at once they were out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Triple kill. <laughs> anyway, 
Greeters, they were vending machines, but due to a glitch in the system, they electrocuted th their customers. So because of that, the Gluckins used them as security guards. Now, the thing is with this secret area, um, not only do you have to make sure that you do not fall into that one area with the greeter, but yeah, you gotta keep the timing right with, um, once you roll onto one of those trap doors to keep opening and closing, you gotta make sure that you, that you turn off those timed mines in order to pr get to the to depressed Budakas that you see there. Uh, and from there, once you're able to pull the lever, um, this is where uh, you have to uh, lure the greeter to chase after you to blow him up. Because here's the thing, greeters in general, they can't see. But if you move in, um, in the in that laser that you see right there, they'll they'll spot you and they'll try to chase you so that they can try to electrocute you. Oh, oh, that that, that that's why that sequence happened because you were stuck in the middle. Exactly. And there we go. <laughs> okay, I get it. Now, now, now that now that we know what the enemy was about, it makes more sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, anyway. Going back to like uh, what I was trying to talk about with um the supposed lore behind um the Buda the Budokan race like the Budanchi and the Budomo tribes and the Gluckins, um at one one night they uh the Budokans uh saw that one moon that we saw in the first game so the Budokans thought that was a sign that they were the superior race the Gluckins didn't like that so hence why the Gluckins decide to start this thing called I believe it's called the War of Alchemy. Or the, uh, just try to, um, try to, um, industrialize their race after so, for so many years. Hence why, as of right now, we saw other places like, um, uh, Rupture Farms, that's, and many other industrialized areas. And eventually, of course, they were that powerful enough to enslave the Budokan race afterwards, mostly out of jealousy. Ah. Huh. Yeah, like I said, if you want, um, the guys who made, like, uh, the Odd World uh, lore video, like, you know, the guys who make, like, those video game lore videos, I highly recommend you check that out, because they do a like, much better job explaining it than I did. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, but, um, but in which case, um, that will pretty much do it with, uh, the, the, many things we have to take care of for the Necrom Forest, so when we come back, we will we will officially begin our side quest to free these uh, trapped spirits by going through the Budunji Vault. We will see you guys then. Oh, God damn it! God oh, damn it! it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Really? Ryan? Ryan, why are you just sneaking shit in there? <laughs> wait, what was that? that no was wonder we used here. it. <laughs> hold, hold on, wait, I, I, everyone was- wait, what? <laughs> wait, one at a time, please. It's the- <laughs> the Alolan Executor. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and, and that- and- <laughs> Okay, if- <laughs> Wait, wait. Why did you and put like, that uh, there? It's so random. I know, I, <laughs> because it was, <laughs> it was a long, it was a long jump, I get it. Well, well, no, well, no, no, it's like, uh, it, it was around the time when I think Alohan Executor was like, just recently announced, and I, and it's, and then I noticed, oh wait, this level has a lot of palm trees and such, you know what, fuck, I'll just throw that in there. <laughs> oh, I get it now. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> And, and yeah, and that was the exact same thing that happened during part four at one point. <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs>